How's it going everyone? Nathan here of Riders Cove. So it's been a while and I've been up to a few things. I've been testing out my Dewalt rotary. A um, bit different than whatever I'm used to since I'm used to the Flex. The Flex one is amazing but this one I went with just because it was like 170 bucks around there. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a little windy right now so I hope everything's recording properly and like there's no, there's no like other sounds going on besides the military base over there, which is Navy. Yeah, it's Navy. So yeah, so I actually bought this flex shaft for about 50 bucks. It came with a whole kit. It came with a variety of mini pads. So this is about a one inch right here, approximately. And it comes with like uh, down to, I think a quarter inch. Uh, let's see. So about that so this is about a half inch then i think i have a three fourth inch then this is just the inch and also comes with a variety of other ones so we got wool microfiber and as well as a bunch of these right here so it comes with cone shaped and more of the like these round marshmallow kind of shape ones and yeah they come different sizes so this is the heavy cut i think this is a medium to light cut then I have a just a finishing polish and just one that's just meant for appli for applicating. Like if you want to just put a coat of wax somewhere and it's really tight in there. Like for example, some sort of like finishing, jeweling, like polish slash sealant protector or whatever. So if you want to use this for jewelry, whatever. I've been rambling too long, but yeah. But the good thing about it, it does come with an attachment for a rotary. For a, for a big rotary and if you have like a Dremel or something or like one of those handheld rotary tools it also has an attachment for that which is um which basically just has like a little shaft on this end and you're able to apply it through there so yeah let's just get started so I'm going to be polishing up the wheel since I haven't done that in a while I already cleaned off the surface right here and yeah let's just get started so I'm just going to be using V32 from Chemical Guys and this is actually butter wet wax mixed with a few other things just to help it apply better, for it to stick better, for it to last longer, and just to give a better shine on it. But yeah, this is just, that is just for general aesthetics. It's not meant for durability, longevity, none of that stuff. So yeah, let's just get started. And this whole kit right here for this one, I believe it's 50 bucks on Amazon. I'll put a link in everything in the description below so you guys can check it out. But yeah. Let's just see if this thing will come out. I'm trying not to get in the way of the video. There we go. And I'm not going to be going really hard on this thing. I'm about maybe a thousand RPMs will be the best, uh, the highest I would go. All right. So, and this thing does have a soft start on the DWAP. So it's really great for getting to tough spots. Um, I'm sure you could do this with a three inch uh, polishing pad or something a little bit smaller than that. If you have the Roops Nano Hybrid, this is totally what it's meant for right here. But I'd rather have this right here just because I'm actually able to move around better, I'm able to attach other things to it that I can't do on the Hybrid Nano, so yeah. This, I'm just spreading it right now. I am not really trying to work it in. You know what? I think I'm going to go in between 1,000 and 1,400 RPM right here. So let's see how that pulls out. This is a trigger action. It does have a locking mechanism. So you don't have to keep holding on to the trigger.
So yeah, that was between 1,000 and 1,400 RPM. Let's see if it actually pulls up on there. So yeah, I actually did. Whoops, I caught myself on the knee. But yeah, so it just trying to walk away from you, but you can tell like, so I haven't polished this thing in a while, but something like this, I have like an actual cutting polish. I haven't, or cutting, actually cutting compound. I haven't done anything like that. So yeah, so it's gonna be really oxidized. And since this is just powder coating, I am removing some of the powder coating on it, but nothing too aggressive since powder coating is very durable and it's very dark right now. So yeah, let's just see how it all, let's see how it turns out. Sorry if I'm rambling or not. And I'm surprised this thing isn't that loud unless I'm really going ham on it. Like using it like full RPMs. So let's see. Liking how it's coming out. Very glossy. If you really want to return your wheels, if they're powder coated or even if they're metal poly, if they're just metal, just bare metal, for example, maybe if you have chrome or just aluminum stainless steel whatever you want something to shine you go you could just use metal polish heavy metal polish use whatever your favorite one is my current favorite one is still chemical guys really like it but yeah compared to every compared to the rest of the wheel it looks damn fantastic let's see if we get a closer look on this yep definitely looks even just looking at this way right here nice it's all basically just one single color and i will be adding the wax to it compared to this right here as you can see huge difference already so yeah so i'm gonna finish this up and we'll see how it all comes out i've already took a before picture on this so let's see how it all comes out all right so here she is it's all cleaned up polished well compound or whatever but it did a fantastic job it's more than what i can expect for and it is waxed up so i'm probably hoping this wax party lasts me maybe a day just because it's butter wet wax um, i also put uh, some silica in it i use gas stream silica which is used in ceramic coatings that's the type of silica it is it's not the usual silica <laughs> repetitive rather but oh well and yeah so it has a nice finish right there a nice glossy mirror finish so yeah and let's show you what the other wheels look like and this is what generally what all wheels well all the wheels on the Camaro look like you see that's how I look like and yes and I will be doing the interior uh, inside the barrel hopefully soon I'm gonna be ordering some more chemicals to deal with that stuff deal with all the brake dust sand and all that crap since i live at the beach so yeah all right guys let me know what you guys think and if you have any questions or comment leave them down below and i'll do my best to answer and this is the whole setup besides this this is for my steamer that i bought and yeah let's see boom you like that finish and this on the caps on these things i'm probably just gonna end up like spray painting them black just because no matter how many times I use any sort of dressing on this thing, it just it just gets back to this color within a couple of days. So yeah, no matter what I use, unless I use the ceramic coating, but I don't, I don't feel like bothering with ceramic coating on these because these are plastic. So yeah, I don't know. I'll see what I'll do with that, but yeah. Till next time, guys. Later, and hopefully it won't take months for my next video. <laughs> all right, it is summertime. So yeah, get your ride all cleaned up and everything. Doesn't matter what you're doing or what kind of car you have, or motorcycle, if that's your thing, truck, tank. My friend's family owns a tank. They're doing that right now, but yeah. Later, guys.